it's that time product haul now i don't do product hauls often because whenever i buy my products i buy them that will last me for about a good four or five months so i don't pick up a couple and then i'm back in the store again a month later or two months later this lasts me whenever i buy things i buy them in bulk and it lasts me for about five four or five five months sometimes six months Okay, so let's start off with the oil. I do have this oil down here because I wanted to show you that I have three more coming from Amazon. The date that they that they gave me, the 11th through the 16th. So it can come anytime between the 11th and the 16th. So I got um, a few of these coming and this is what was left over when I switched to the spring and summer, which was the apricot. So I had this left over. Um, I did pick this up. Um, at Walgreens, um, this is the Shea Moisture's Raw Butter um, Deep Treatment Mask. You will see this, like I tell you all the time, you're going to see this throughout my videos a lot because I use this all year round. So there's no season that I don't use it. 365 days out the year, you'll see this, okay? So this is going to be my pre pool conditioner the herbal essence rose hemp. I do add the rose hemp oil, about seven drops. This loves my hair. I used to use the Grow Strong. I've been using that for a while for a pre poo but I switched up. I said I was going to use this. I bought two more of these because I have one left. And this keeps my cuticles down. They don't raise up. They keep them soft. They also um, keep my hair hydrated. So that's why I switched back to that. The Grow Strong is all right as well. But this one, I love it because it keeps my hair really straight, especially after I wash my hair. It really does. It really does um, work in my hair because I have used it for a deep conditioner and it works really good. This I got from Amazon because when I went to the beauty supply store, they didn't have this. They just had the regular, um, I think it was like 12 or 16 ounces, but this is the 32 ounce. This is the honey cream from Designer and Essentials shampoo. This shampoo does cleanse my hair very well. It leaves my hair feeling smooth and soft like silk. And the hydration does last in my hair. My hair is really clean after I use this. I like it. So when I was at the beauty supply store, because I didn't, um, I didn't uh, order it from Amazon. I just ordered this and another product, which will be coming up soon. So when I went to the beauty supply store, I got two of these, and this is one of the two. And um, I use this leave-in as a moisturizer sometime, or I'll use another leave-in. Okay, this right here. I had um, ordered this from Amazon as well, and my my um, stylist used this on my hair. I, I love the way my hair felt, so I asked her what it was, and she said it was the Rosemary Moisturizing Conditioner from Designing Essentials. Okay, so um, I started using that. Um, I also got this one from Amazon because when I went there, I didn't see this. They had a lot of things from Designing Essentials I wasn't really familiar with, so I I didn't see it, but I ended up ordering these two from Amazon, okay? So that's my haul. I have a few of everything that you see down here just to bring everything down because when I did that before, like I said, you guys were saying, that's a lot of stuff, but like I said, I buy when I buy things, I buy them in bulk. That way, every month, I'm not going in and out the store. So whenever you buying things like that, make sure you get enough to last at least four, five, six months. So if you use your products, the same products like I have on that dining room table, if you use your products, okay, consistently, meaning every week or every two weeks, you'll see a major difference for the better for your hair. Don't differ. Don't, don't buy something and then use it. Then you see somebody else. Maybe their hair is a little more flowing than yours. Then you want to try that again. Um, and then you would do this. Then you want to do that again. You want to try this. You want to try that. Stick with the same products. Be consistent with your products, okay? And before my closing, I just want to add, if you keep your scalp and your hair hydrated and moisturized, you find you a good leave-in conditioner, add a little oil to it or whatever you want to do to it, um, or a moisturizer, keep your scalp 
and throughout your hair moisturized, you would not have hair falls or breakage, okay? Moisture is key when it comes to preventing our hair from breaking off, okay? So if you don't learn anything at all, learn and know this, okay? Learn and know this. If you keep your scalp and your hair throughout hydrated and sealed it with a good oil, you would not see that. But if you are experiencing excessive shedding and fallouts, look throughout your hair, you could have thinning and splitting hairs. And you may have to go to a professional to get that cut off. Even if they cut off three inches or four, start fresh, don't, don't be like, don't be silly cutting off all of your hair, okay? I didn't cut my hair off last year. You know, I didn't do that. I just started over by getting a fresh cut, okay? And that's what was needed. You may have to go that route, all right? It's hair, hair grows. I'm gonna tell you that right now. As long as you're living and breathing, hair grows, okay? Once again, keep your scalp and your hair throughout moisturized and seal it with a good oil, okay? It can be grapeseed oil, it can be jojoba oil, it can be macadamia oil, it can be olive oil, but get a good sealing penetrating oil. I'll leave some down here once again, I'll just look at these oils and choose which ones that you would think would benefit in your hair, okay? Make sure that the oil is natural, organic oil. You don't wanna use an oil that have other ingredients in there because it's not pure argan oil or coconut oil or olive oil or grapeseed oil. You don't, you don't wanna use oils like that. Okay, so stop using those oils because they added other things and dyes in there because a dye should not be in the oil. It's not good for the scalp. It's not good for the hair. And over time, it will cause problems and you're wondering what happened. I don't drink, I don't smoke, but you're having these problems. Check your products, read the labels on your products, okay? I hope this video finds you well. If so, please give it a thumbs up and Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. God bless you. Mwah. Bye.